okay moving ahead to our next function which is going to be if error so what do you mean by if error formula let us quickly check it out you can use if error function to trap and handle errors in a formula if error returns a value you specify if a formula evaluates to an error otherwise it returns the result of the formula i know it is complicated while we are reading it but when i'll show you the use case of this formula you will going to love this formula it is a life saver while you are preparing any report i'll show you how okay so how you'll use this formula you will just type is equals to if error bracket open value comma value if error so if there is any error in the value what do you want it to return that will be the use of this formula okay so how it works value is the calculation or formula you want to evaluate so what you want to check what value do you want to check is going to be your value and the value if error is the thing which you want in return if you find any error in the result okay so if we deep dive a little more you can see value is what do you want to evaluate and value if error is output you want to display in case of error okay let us see this by an example so do you recall this table from our earlier example where we have calculated or where we have find out the salary of different employees from a data set or a table range so here i have found out the salary of chandler by using view lookup formula same for joey and same for phoebe but let's suppose i want salary of ankit and i'll drag the formula it is showing me hash na what it means is i am not getting any value for ankit why is that because in this data set from where i am using the vlookup formula i don't have any name called ankit that's why when i'm trying to vlookup this formula i am not getting anything in return if i am preparing a report let's suppose i have these names as well and i am dragging these formula till down here if i am preparing a report or presentation if there is something which is not available in the above cell or above data set and it will show na you can see my report won't look good right what i want is if there is any na it should replace it with zero so what i can do is i'll show you first separate formula here what i'll do is i'll just type is equals to if error tab which will open my bracket then value i'll select this value comma then if error what i want to return is zero i'll type zero bracket close hit enter you can see i have got zero because i have got na here instead of rachel if i type rahul here and again if i bring this formula here i'll see i'm getting zero again but what will happen if i post this here i am getting this value why because my formula says if there is no error it will return me the value which is available in this column okay now we can combine we look up and if error because i want the data in this set only okay so what i will do is i have this we look up formula i'll come in front of this i'll use if error now the value which i want to get is this value okay then i press comma and if i find any error in this formula what i want it to return is press comma and hit zero and then enter you can see nothing change here why because chandler is available in the above table but now you can see the magic if i will drag this formula down you can see now it is showing me zero instead of an error this is the use case of if error formula so for today's video this is all about it i hope you found this video useful if you did do like it subscribe to my channel if already haven't and if you have any doubts or query feel free to ask me in the comments thank you for watching i will see you soon with another video